Hello everyone and welcome you all to this channel my research support and if you like this information please do not forget to subscribe this channel. So friends if you have upgraded to ChatGPT plus and now if you are thinking that you will be able to fetch the information with proper in-text citations and references then you are completely wrong. Almost 90% of these in-text citations and references generated by using ChatGPT's free version or paid version are completely inaccurate so let me show you something. Here if you are putting any prompt like generate an introduction for research paper on magnesium alloy with proper in-text citations and references so here i have used this keyword magnesium alloy this is a very broad field so in very general or broad field if you are putting any prompt then definitely you will be able to get few citations and references for example you can see this here few in-text citations are there you can see here along with the list of references okay but what happens most of the times if you compare this reference with this citation and this is the information which is fetched from this research article so most of the times we found that there is no relation of this information with these references okay this is the first point second point now if you want to track this research article in order to download that research article then most of the times you will face difficulty that you won't be able to get any pdf for this reference number okay so this is about the general field if you are thinking about a specific field because as we are using this for writing a research document so in that case obviously our prompts would be very specific for example instead of writing this magnesium alloy i'll be putting a specific type maybe mg one ca okay this is one of the type of magnesium alloy so in that case if i put the same prompt the only thing is i have just added this type now this prompt has become a little specific here also you have got few index citations okay and along with this index citations we have got this list of references as well but now you have to ask chart gpt are these citations and references correct? So surprisingly you will get this answer. The citations and references provided in the introduction examples are fabricated for illustrative purposes to demonstrate how you might structure and format citations and references in a research paper they are not real sources so you shouldn't use them as actual references in academic work okay so even though if you are getting any of these references so you might think that all these references are correct but chat gpt is itself is saying that all these references are fictitious means all these references are inaccurate so never rely on this chat gpt's index citations and list of references now you may be having a question in your mind that how to overcome that and how to fetch the information with correct proper index citations and references so definitely you can do that but for that you have to integrate this chat gpt with several other excellent ai tools and with the help of this integration definitely you will be able to fetch the information from quality and referee research articles only on this topic especially we have launched our course through our website and app so details are there in this video description so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you if you still have any queries please write those queries through comments we will definitely try to answer all these queries so thank you very much once again and i'll see you in my next video bye bye